Hi everybody, Steve Crosby here, continuing on this Monday morning musing with some comments about Jesus' I Am statements. First of all, one of the things you're going to notice, I should have mentioned this earlier, that these are all contained in the Gospel of John. There's reasons for that, technical reasons for that, reasons why John is different than the synoptics and such as that, not going into that, not the, this is not the place to get into those kind of details. But for today, I just want to talk about I Am the Way, the Truth, and the Life. For any faithful Jew at the time of Jesus, Torah and Torah observance was literally called the way of life. Torah was understood as the teachings of life. It was, it was understood to be uh, like a faithful parent would instruct his children, normally, uh, there's different, there, again, there's reasons why it was male only and Different, different cultural things about who taught what when. Can't get into that today. Just for now, I'm just going to say that the man was primarily responsible in their household. If you, because some of the rabbis taught, you know, it, it was you should never teach a woman Torah. I just don't want to get into all those cultural nuances in, in this episode conversation for another day. But to teach your children was to lead them in the way of life. Torah and Torah observance was called the pathway of life. Now again, Torah and Torah observance, the pathway of life, well, who are the arbiters of Torah? The various Jewish groups that would disagree themselves. The Essenes the, the, you know, at the Qumran community, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, and even the Jerusalem uh, establishment in, in the temples. So, and and they're, they're all arguing with each other, but primarily the Pharisees who understood themselves to be the arbiters, the ones who break the Torah to lead you in the way of life. They were the teachers. They were the parents, the equivalent of spiritual parents for Israel. And it was their obligation to teach Israel and the individual Israelites Torah is into the path of life. Now Jesus comes along and says he is not only the truth, otherwise Torah was proclaimed to be the truth. He is supplanting Torah, but the way. Some of you, I'm sure, understand that a lot of Jewish existence was known or, 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 or described in the word halakha. Otherwise, the, the action of interpreting, applying, and living out Torah. It, this was a highly contentious issue. Lots of debates between the various sections of, of Judaism at the time. But the point of Halakha was to walk in the way that Torah pointed out. And Jesus says to them, I am not only the truth and the truth that contains life, which you say Torah does, I'm actually the way, I'm the path also. Now, this would be an obvious rabbinical slash follower slash disciple metaphor. Follow me. So when somebody, when a rabbi claims I am the way, they're saying, follow me. So again, when Jesus makes that statement of I am the way, the truth, and the life, he's not making a Greek metaphysical statement about his being per se at that moment. He's saying, I am the only trustworthy rabbi. I'm the only one who, who accurately represents Yahweh slash Torah slash the way of life. That is another reason why they wanted to kill him. Because he claimed to be the way, the truth, and the life. See you next time.